Yo, what's up guys? So today's video is gonna be on the Yoshimura AT2 full titanium exhaust system for the Yamaha R7. Guys, I got this on the bike like two or three weeks ago. And as you can see the clouds and everything, it's been super rainy here. So I haven't got to ride with it a lot, but this thing is insane. I had the Yoshimura R77 exhaust on the last bike that I just totaled and it was loud, it sounded good, but this is, it's, it's on a completely different level. I hate watching those product review videos where they talk about the product for like two minutes but before that they talk about any and everything else for like 20 minutes so i'm just going to jump straight into it if you guys do want to stick around and you guys are like true followers of me and whatnot and care about me um, i'm going to have a little bit of update at the end of the video talking about where the channel's going and everything but i wanted to get this video out to you guys because i know it's relatively new on the market and it really is a, a killer exhaust system all right guys so do keep in mind this bike has been crashed twice once on each side uh nothing crazy just just slid on the side but there is some damage on the bike but we're not here to look at the bike we're here to look at the actual exhaust and look at it. you can actually see up in there how pretty those pipes are getting and then on your little viewport here just how pretty that pipe is getting so like i said before it is full titanium so with it being full titanium you're going to get really cool color change like that as long as you don't touch it with your hands whenever you install this you need to put gloves on for sure speaking of install i didn't do an install video because it's a Yoshimura pipe and they are just literally so easy to install. The instructions on it are super easy. If you wanna know how to install a pipe like this, you can either look at my R77 install video that I did for the Yoshimura R77 works exhaust, or you can look at my buddy Scout's Out video. He does a fantastic video. I mean, he lays out everything that you'll need, all the tools, everything. I recommend his video over mine any day, so check out that video. And this is pretty much exactly the same. Now we've went ahead and, you know, taken a little look at everything and just how pretty everything looks, excluding the bike right now, and just how nice those pipes will change colors in there. That is probably my favorite part. I wish that I could get a little bit of more purple and whatnot out here. I know we're not talking about install, but whenever you do install this, do make sure you wear gloves and after you get done, spray it with some isopropyl alcohol and wipe down the pipes, because if not, you're gonna get grease or fingerprints and it's gonna stain that collaring. So the collaring's gonna look really, really rough if you don't do that. But yeah, we checked it out. The only next thing to do is to actually start it up and let you hear it. Um, keep in mind, anytime you video an exhaust, it's not gonna do it any justice, unfortunately. So it's not gonna sound anywhere near like what it does in real life, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea. Now, this is technically a cold start. It is like 97 degrees outside today, so it's not like cold outside, but it is the first start of the day. So we'll go ahead and give it a start in three, two, one. So again, I have neighbors. I didn't want to just keep revving it and doing all that. And I know in the video, you're not really going to be able to tell, but I do want to do a quick uh, drive-by video with it just so you can hear how it sounds whenever it passes something fast or, or whatever, just a couple fly-by shots. And you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to please me because I think it sounds cool and I'll be able to hear it whenever I'm not riding it. I can just play back the video and listen to it because I'm really that weird about my bike. But yeah, we're going to do some fly-by shots and hopefully they come out nice. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it.
right, so hopefully that footage came out all right. Um, it is so blistering hot out here. It's like 97, 100, mi or 100 miles per hour, like 97 to 100 degrees out here. And um, whenever I went and picked up my camera, it had overheated. So hopefully I got some of the uh, flybys. You guys will know already because how editing works. But I wanted to mention um, some of the enhancements that it makes. So it's going to give you an additional approximate 6.2% of your max horsepower. And if I remember correctly, it is 3.7% max torque. So not only is it gonna sound better, it's also gonna perform better. Um, with that, you're also going to be shaving off an additional 11 plus pounds uh, whenever you take off that stock exhaust and you put on this AT2. And let me just compare that real quick. So this right here is what you're gonna be taking off your bike. Look at this gigantic just hunk of metal i mean it is heavy huge and just ugh, completely unnecessary and you're going to be swapping it with this beautiful titanium pipe and i know you can't see all the pipe but it's just a straight pipe there it's no more of that boxy nasty just uh anymore it's going to be a beautiful piece of art that is going to sound great and it's also going to give you better performance according to yoshimura something that i would add on here is the airbox i don't have it yet but i would get a new airbox on it to go with this and then once you get the airbox i would get it tuned you don't necessarily need to get it tuned whenever you put on this exhaust however it will work better sound better and better fuel economy if you do get a tune on it i can actually tell i'm running a little bit lean because whenever i uh, slow down it, it's, it's doing the pops and crackles which personally i kind of like the sound of it but i know it kind of sounds ricey so i might uh, i might have to go get it tuned but yeah you're gonna be swapping out that nasty stock exhaust with this you're gonna shave off 11 pounds add 6.2 percent horsepower and 3.7 percent of uh torque so i highly recommend this as of right now the day of making this video it's gonna be i think it's uh 13.99 for this exhaust um again that's that's today it could go up in price it could go down in price if it goes down in price i'm gonna be sad because i could have saved money so for the people that are here just for the product review that's going to conclude the product review i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was a good one and uh let me know if you get this exhaust or if you already have it ordered because it truly is an incredible exhaust for my viewers and my followers and fans whatever you want to call it i know it's been a while haven't made a video in a long time since the crash yes i will be coming back and uh i i am working on a return um i just want everything to be good i want the bike to look good I've got something very special playing with that for uh, for new plastics that I'm really excited to show you guys. It just takes a really long time for them to get made. Um, but yes, more riding videos soon. Um, actually riding the bike too and on it and GoPro, just like how we were before. Just like how we were before the crash, there's gonna be more of that. I am building and working on a comeback video that's gonna be all special and extra and all that. Um, I just, I gotta wait for things to come in and it has to stop raining. I mean, look at that. You guys remember from the start of the video, it was a little bit more clear. It's it's literally rained every day here for the past like two weeks. So haven't really got to ride, but I'm working on making more videos. I'm not done. Don't count me out yet. And yeah, see you guys soon. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.